So this is an old chess board from when I was in chess club back in, gosh, elementary school. So basically, you know, this is the hole that I cut out for the EQ stuff. I still got to cut out a small hole to fit the, the, um, it's just a pickup. It's, that's all it is. It's a pickup. It just needs a, a like a drilled hole, like not nothing fancy like this. Just a drilled hole for the cable. Back here we got, this is where the battery compartment is going to go. And this is the headphone and quarter inch jack holes. All that jazz here. I basically carved out, I use a Dremel for most of it, but I carved out a spot for the neck. Cause I had a violin friend help me with this. So basically it's like a puzzle piece. I'll just fit right in there. And then I already attached a button. I, I think that looks classy as heck. So far that's the only nice part about this thing. Today I basically learned how to use this scroll saw. Basically I practice how to make a curve, a semicircle. I use the inside of that tape roll to trace a half circle. And it's not a half circle, it's a little bit less or more, I don't know. So I trace with tape, you know, I trace the circle on each side and it's not even. Okay, so yeah, so I put tape, drew the circle, drew the circle, half circle, whatever. So now here's the inside. So basically what I did, because otherwise there would just be this big gaping hole on the side. So what I did is I got this about an inch thick, one by two, two by one, I don't know. It's all a matter of perspective. Basically took little pieces of this and traced the cut hole and then cut that out. Put it back on and you know, we're back in business. Had to cut out a little section here, basically for the battery. Oh wait, just kidding, not here, here. Basically what's left is, yeah, glue that, sand it, make it smooth, make it nice. Attach the neck, figure out where to drill the hole so I can put the pickup in. The button has the, the, so there'll be a cable going through the button and then holding the tailpiece up. The tailpiece can't be touching this, the cable. There, there's there's a, a, a little wooden piece that would go there on an actual violin, but come on. I need the cable to just be a little longer. And right now the cable I have is too short. This is more of a journey than a tutorial, so sorry. Okay, update. Cut that out, sanded it, and I added like two coats of clear polyurethane. Like I wasn't trying to get it shiny, just kind of trying to seal it. It's drying! And there's no going back. Okay, so here I did the little notches for the nut right there. Um, for you violin freaks, I know that this space is no bueno, but that's just how it came made. These were really long, so I cut those. Okay, so here are my marks for the holes. Um, for the strings, I basically just went pretty much down the middle of the peg box. Um, maybe there's a science to it, but I don't know it. Okay, 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 okay. So, I added the fine tuners added the fine tuners to the tailpiece. Yeah, cool, there we go. <laughs> oh man, we're getting sounds. All right, so for the sake of time, I'm gonna try to briefly explain basically what would have been almost 30 minutes of footage. First, the tension of the strings was pulling the neck up into the instrument. The tension was too great. So um, I ended up opening the box and putting a plank, not a plank, but like a piece of wood that went across the body as added support. And then I, I ended up getting a massage ball and cutting it in, into a little piece that would fit right under the fingerboard where the fingerboard like goes over the instrument. So I, I tucked it under the fingerboard and the tension holds it in place. And that basically keeps it from just, you know, kind of doing like this cracker, you know, snap in half up into itself kind of, it, it just, it works, it works. Next, the action was too tall. I'll actually show you what I did to the bridge. The bridge, I cut 
the feet off, and I ended up shaving it down, and now the bridge is like two-thirds its original size. And I know that luthiers are going to hate me for this, but it works. I mean, it's not an acoustic violin, so it really doesn't matter too much. You know, as long as it's got the pickup, it'll be fine. So yeah, that actually ended up bringing the action down, which is great. Um, I, I let my violin friend kind of do a test run. He says it plays a lot better. Now, you can't compare it to a regular violin, but for what it is, it plays pretty solid. Um, next, the cable for the tailpiece. So I ended up making the cable out of the wire for weed whackers. So the, the wire that you put in the weed whacker to actually cut the grass. So yeah, that, that, you know, that problem solved. There are some problems with electronics, some problems with wires messing with part of the inside of the box. There's no real need to show that. You just know it's fixed. Strings broke, so I got lighter tension strings just to play it safe. I actually got fiddle strings because, you know, I don't imagine anyone trying to play Paganini on this thing. In the end, everything's fine. It works! Okay, so I put the cable, the, the old cable thing, you know, that green thing, put that back on, um, put the strings back on. I tried to tune it, but it's like, you know, you tighten one string and it messes with the tension of the other ones. But other than that, I'm actually very happy with it. I've tuned it. It's done. And now for the reveal.